Well, hello artists, welcome to the Impossible Kingdom. I have something a little bit different today. I've already flipped cards, we played last night. I had a couple of artists with me, here's the footage, where we drew these cards at random. So we played Round Robin Creatures. So Round Robin, if you haven't played, you take these four card prompts. So Praying Mantis, Lemur, Ostrich, as a baby. And we came up with these three very similar kind of pieces of art. Nobody was looking, nobody was copying off each other. There was no extra, you know. Uh, like, hey, we should draw, I'll draw it like this. What I'm gonna try and do today, they all kind of ended up looking like ostriches with lemur tails and mantis faces. What I wanna do today is come up with something totally new using the same four cards. So we'll see at the end if it looks different enough. So. Grab your pencils and paper, whatever you want to use, crayons. I'm going to do watercolor today, I think. And if you're going to do watercolor stuff and you're doing black, make sure that you have stuff that doesn't run in water and bleed all over the place. I'm going to be using my thick watercolor paper and watercolor crayons to come up with something that, uh, that I like. I'm going to do a, a quick preliminary sketch on here. And then we're going to jump right into coloring and get you out of here. So pick up your art stuff, your crayons, your color pencils, Open your imagination and let's get started. So I think the first thing I'm gonna try and do is make sure that this lemur face is the dominant thing. And then the body, I think the body needs to be the praying mantis body. So it's gonna be a longer body like this and then the like monkey lemur kind of head on here. I'll have these cool eyes. He can still, maybe he can still have this. I don't know. You know what? Maybe he'll have the that. He'll have the ostrich beak. Ostrich beak. We'll have these lemur looking monkey eyes. The coloration of this. And then as a baby. Man, how am I going to do that? All right, I need to sketch this a little bit. Maybe it has a lemur, lemur tail as the, that looks like a bumblebee now. All right, I'm going to redraw this. I don't like this. And it's okay to not like what you're starting to draw, obviously. Yeah, it's kind of funny. The, the, the go-to is just ostrich body, lemur tail, long neck. That is easier. And then you have the ostrich. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we drew. So, if we're going to draw a baby, what does a baby version look like? A baby with a pacifier and big googly eyes that everybody adores. I don't know what face that goes on though. Let's just look at a person's face. Okay, so if it has an ostrich head, then maybe this long neck, and then it'll be standing. So maybe it'll be standing. Okay, let's see what we got here. So if I have this this thing standing up here, like this lemur, then it has a big tail. It's gonna have a diaper on. It'll have a diaper. And then these legs can still be the ostrich legs with praying mantis feet. All right, that's kind of cool. It has these ostrich bird legs, looks like high heels or something. All right, that kind of works, I like that. Okay, so if it has that and then it needs an ostrich tail poking out of here. So the ostrich tail, it has these this big plumage of, of stuff like that. And then maybe this, uh, Maybe he's looking the other way, because ostriches can do that. Okay, so he's standing this way, and he's looking back this way. And it has these praying mantis gigantic eyes with eyelashes, because it's a baby. So these need to be filled in. It's going to have this big, big praying mantis eyes, and then it's going to have the uh, bill straight off of that. Something like that. And then, gosh, this is weird. And then the ostrich. That is here, and then it needs to have these antenna coming off of there, like that. And then the arms can be maybe standing this way. So this is fur off of there, big diaper with the straps on here. Okay, and then the praying mantis arm will be the segmented doodad here like that little baby okay and then this neck will start the fur patterns 
of the lemur. Okay. And then those. Alright. We get this thing inked on. I just thought of something cool. That's kind of neat. I like that idea. It's all about the idea sometimes, you know? I envision ostriches having this big Adam's apple for some reason. some of this all right now I'm going to go ahead and start the color and see where this takes us so I think I'm gonna want uh, black on these parts here that are the ringer the lemur the lemur part and this actually the lemur ring color is actually a uh, kind of like feathers I hope I think so that's good. And then I'm gonna make him green. His arms should be green, I think. All of you, I like it bold and bright. So, I'm gonna... and again, these crayons go on really easily, which is why I like them so much. Uh, I'm gonna make his beak green I presume ostrich eggs are in the yellowy the yolk will be yellowy gray and then this diaper will be blue the tear will be blue and then the diaper will be diaper will be purpley and then, I'm not positive what color to make the body. Maybe it just stays white, I don't know. Maybe a real light brown color, just so it has some color, like that maybe. And then face yellowy right there. All right, I'm gonna throw some color on here and see what we can do. So, anytime I'm using these watercolor brushes here, I like to make sure I have plenty of water. Obviously. I'm gonna start with the light light colors up here. Yeah, that works. Just kind of a something so it's not a bright white looking feathers here. Move on to this egg. Now this egg is like neon yellow here. Eggy goop is there. Now I'm gonna go to the blue, this tear, and purple diaper. That's fun. I'm gonna leave the band white. I didn't line the back of his butt back here. I'm gonna do this green. So when I'm doing this watercolor, I also like to keep a napkin nearby because when you pull the use the napkin, it pulls some of that paint up and makes it a lot easier to control. If you need spots of white or highlights back in, sometimes it's too easy to kind of muddy it up. So a napkin handy, and then it'll make everything a little easier. That was a lot of water, so I'm gonna go back in with this black and uh, black crayon and try not to make it too dark but you definitely want to imply that you have the lemur rings on here. Oh, 
I'm just gonna paint right here and it picks up all that color nicely on here. So you can see it's gonna lay down a bunch of color here. It's gonna be bright red. This stuff gets pretty opaque actually. I don't know why this would be red, but it's what I chose to do to my art. The last thing I'm going to do on here is use a little bit of gray on these water brushes. If you can just squeeze a little bit of water, do that, and then your brush is clean, just like that. Awesome. So I'm going to use, I'm going to do the same thing, but with gray for a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to take some of that gray and just put it, put it anywhere I need to kind of a little gray in between these, gives them a little separation. Whoa, that's a lot of water. I also need to put a little bit in the egg here. Very easy. There we go. All right. I guess since I'm already doing this, just clean out your brushes and and then I'm going to come in with the white Posca here. So that's about all I'm going to do on this ostrich lemur mantis baby. And I hope you had fun. Everything that you drew, anything you drew, is going to look very different than any of these. And I'm happy for that. Uh, part of this exercise for me was just seeing how different of art, regardless of skill or time or any of that stuff, how far. Like if you spent four hours doing one of these, how, how good would that look to you? Your style and skill is totally separate and unique to you. And that's kind of what I want, is for you to open your imagination and let out whatever is inside, whether they're kind of similar to something else or whether you drew something similar to that I drew today or something totally unique. I'm really excited to see what you have and I hope that you keep going, keep doing your art, even if you use similar tools each time. I hope you love it. So again, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.